This is Jen Lasser with Adobe Analytics Product Management. In this video, I'm going to show you a feature that we introduced in last week's release called Date Aligning. If you've ever wanted to trend different date ranges for data on the same chart, very similar to in reports and analytics, how you can trend your current data versus four weeks ago or 52 weeks ago, then this feature is for you. In the past, Analysis Workspace would shift different date ranges of data along the x-axis in a graph. For instance, if you wanted to chart December 2016 along with December 2015, it would show them as, as two different ranges along the x-axis, even if you really wanted them to be overlapped so that you could compare the trends easily. With the introduction of date aligning, you can now easily do this data trend comparison. So let's take a look at our table here as an example. We're showing the last month of orders by day. And let's say we want to put this in perspective to the prior month and the same month last year and chart all three date ranges on the same x-axis. So using date comparisons, which we've covered in another video, we can easily add in same month last year. And we can also add in prior month to give us a month over month view. Now notice that we've added in three different date ranges of data, um, but our rows still represent just the last month. This has happened because of, of date aligning. So the, the two prior ranges, you can now see their dates in gray down each of their columns. And we can see all three kind of represented for December 1st. So kind of remove that year in your mind and think, okay, this is December 1st last year. This is the first of the prior month. And this is December 1st of the current year. Um, now this was made possible by our new date aligning feature, which you can find here with the gear. For any new table that you add with a date as a dimensional row, we're going to auto enable this feature so that the dates align themselves. In any prior tables that were built before last Thursday's release, this will be disabled. So you'll just want to go back, check the gear here, and check this box to enable date aligning. So now that we have three different date ranges all represented and aligned dates in our table, we can go ahead and select the table and easily add in a line chart here and show these three ranges overlapped with one another on the same graph. So we have same month last year, prior month, and current month. Okay, so we hope you found this video helpful on date aligning. This feature along with date comparisons will provide you some great tools for putting your data in perspective for your readers.